Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Dave. I'm a licensed podiatrist. I'd like to thank you for watching my video on my Frugal Foot YouTube channel. Are you dealing with ingrown toenails or are you concerned about getting an ingrown toenail? Well, this video is for you. We're gonna discuss different factors that contribute to ingrown toenails and some of the things that you can do to best avoid them. Most of the ingrown toenails that I see in my practice involve the gray toenail. It doesn't mean that it can't involve the lesser toes, but like I said, most of the time it's the big toenail. Now, first off, the most important thing is you've got to wear shoes that are that fit correctly. If you're wearing shoes that are too tight or too short, well, it's going to press against the toenail and push the nail back and down. So that's first and foremost. Now, when you look at ingrown toenails, they will either involve this side or this side. Now, if your joint back here has a lot of arthritis, you won't be able to move that toe up and down like this. And so when you walk to push off of this toe, you may roll off the side of your foot. And if you have a large callus here, well, that means that you're doing that. And it's very likely that you'll be pushing the skin into that nail border there. So that can cause an ingrown toenail in itself. Sometimes people will have hammer toes and even toes that rub like the second toe can be contracted and pushing against the big toe and that can push the skin up into the nail border there and that can cause an ingrown toenail as well. So you need to look for those things. Wearing a toe spacer in between your toes can help alleviate that. I'll leave a link to where you can find one of those spacers in the description below. Now, one thing that you can do is cut your toenails appropriately. What I like to do is round the toenail. Cutting the toenail straight across really doesn't do you any benefits because it just creates these wings on the side of your toenail and that presses up against the shoe and that can cause an ingrown toenail. So cut your toenails like you do your thumb or your finger nail. You want to round them. I'll use a file and remove all of the rough edges. You can file this way, but I always like to file back and forth like this. It does a really good job of getting rid of all of the rough edges. And as you can see, the toenail is not cut into the skin at all. Those are key factors in approaching toenails and preventing them from becoming ingrown. If you are dealing with an ingrown toenail that is persistent, that is causing redness or any kind of drainage, you need to see your doctor, call your doctor, call your podiatrist immediately and get that addressed. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'm Dr. Dave and I'll see you on my next video.